Hi everyone in YouTube land. I thought it was time for another review. I have been promising you guys a review for the My Life cooking playset. And this is the one that has like the breakfast with the muffins and the waffle iron and whatnot. So I thought it was time for me to do the review. Now I did bring out a couple of dolls to help with the review and you'll find out later throughout um, our time together but uh, this is our generation Cameron and this is a my life doll that I got years ago and I'm not quite sure what her name is um, but I decided to name her Dolly and um, this is my white body Molly who has a little American Girl apron on since we're using her backdrop uh, this happens to be Molly's kitchen backdrop for anyone who's interested and this is my white body Samantha and you can kind of tell that she's a white body Samantha because of those long lashes that curl up but um and uh, her face paint so some of you guys can tell if I get up real close on her that she's got those hand painted teeth um, so she's quite an old doll that I have um, but again you guys will find out later in the review why I chose um, Samantha to participate as well as Cameron and so I think the two dolls in the middle are obviously something that I've already explained um, because we are in Molly's kitchen so let's go ahead and take out the My Life brand cooking playset which comes with all of these things. If you turn it over on the back, um, it shows a My Life doll who is Caucasian with brown hair. So she would be called a brunette. And um, she is wearing a My Life outfit. And so I went ahead and dressed my uh, beautiful Coco complexion doll with the curly dark espresso hair in the brown eyes um, in the same outfit and because I wanted her wearing the holiday outfit I have some fancy barrettes in her hair but um, this little hair clip ended up coming with the outfit that she is wearing so if I get a good close-up on this you guys will see all the things that it came with. It says waffle iron, pancake skillet, bottle of maple syrup, bowl and strawberries, a bowl of blueberries, mixing bowl, fork, plate, whisk, eggs, one milk, muffin baking pan, set of measuring spoons, four muffins, um, one measuring cup, and a box of modeling clay. So that's going to be interesting. I really didn't know it had modeling clay. So we're going to be using the R Generation table um, to set up this whole baking set from my life. And so you get a lot with this set, so I can't wait to review it. So here we go. So we have, or I'm going to start with what you would usually do first if you were making real waffles, pancakes, or muffins. So you would start off collecting things like something to mix it with, like a mixing bowl. And it comes with three eggs. And you can move the eggs around, but I just chose to keep it with the plastic in it just so it didn't um, fall out of the bowl. But you can move them out of the bowl. So it comes with one pink mixing bowl. This is a carton of milk that is empty. Um, but I do, whoops. I do like the icon on the picture. It shows just two cows grazing on a farm. Actually, oh, it has more cows as you turn it over. But I do like the scenery um, on this carton of milk. It is nice and serene. So uh, if you don't work on a farm, <laughs> You might find this setting very peaceful, but if you do work on a farm, um, maybe you even might be grateful that you have a big farm like that and lots of cows. So I won't say that that's not serene either, but it is hard work, I believe, to uh, own your own farm. Uh, just from my great-grandfather having his own farm. 
Okay, and these are the classic waffle directions. So I like how they come with directions. Um, my life is really um, a great play set to work with when it comes to 18 inch dolls. These are the measuring spoons and I think they actually have the measurements right on the spoon. Yeah, one teaspoon. And of course these aren't accurate. Like I wouldn't recommend using these spoons in a real kitchen. Um, but they're accurate for 18 inch dolls. So you get one whisk that has a purple lavender handle and then you get some uh, a bowl of strawberries and a bowl of blueberries. And for anyone who has not read Samantha's story, not that I'll spoil it for you guys, but Samantha, um, the American Girl doll, in her story, I believe that she has a love for blueberry muffins and she has a cook named Mrs. Hawkins who uh, works in the kitchen to make such delicious treats for Samantha and her friends. So um, I believe that you could even use this bowl for Samantha um, if you wanted to. Of course the bowl looks a little tiny compared to uh, Samantha the 18 inch doll and to some of the other dolls, but um, blueberries are usually tiny anyway, and most people do put that kind of uh, size fruit in ramekins uh, or small little containers. So I wouldn't let that deter you guys from using um, any of these for your other dolls, including American Girl and uh, older American Girl dolls that say Pleasant Company on the back. Um, but even for Cameron from our generation, I even think she looks good standing right next to this set as well. So I think the size uh, and the scale for these tools, these kitchen tools, are perfect. Okay, so the next thing that you guys are going to need are your tools for actually making the pancakes the waffles, and the muffins. So there's a gray muffin pan that has four places for a muffin, four spots for a muffin. You've got your waffle iron here, which is pink, and you've got a lavender handle um, pancake uh, frying pan that has different faces for the pancakes. So, um, and the waffle iron is really nice. It has nice little grates or teeth um, that will hold the iron and you can actually close up the iron if you wanted to, the waffle iron. And I like the fact that it matches the pink bowl. Um, and you even get this Aunt Jemima looking um, pancake box if you wanted to make instant pancakes or instant waffles. Let's say you didn't want to make it from scratch but you just wanted some kind of mix, pancake and waffle mix, that you can buy from the store. So I like how they included that as well. Um, because of the derogatory term aunt um, in Aunt Jemima, which is what I grew up using, um, you can even make a history lesson around that. But I believe nowadays if you go to the store and get, uh, or you look for the, um, I forgot what the company is that did the Aunt Jemima pancakes, but if you look for something like this, um, they took the lady off of this, um, there was an icon that had an African American lady and her name was Aunt Jemima. And she was the one who basically introduced those pancakes to, um, oh, that, that company. I can't remember that, that company that sponsored this or that produces the mix for those pancakes. But uh, when I was growing up, it was called Aunt Jemima Pancakes. So uh, you guys can look that up, but I'm not going to give you the history lesson behind it. But I believe that if you go to the store nowadays, you'll see something that looks like that, but you won't see that African-American lady on the box anymore because it was seen as controversial now. But anyway, 
Um, you can still leave out the directions because they would still need to have directions to make the waffles. They would still need their bowl. So you could take it and pretend like you're pouring all the contents in that you've mixed up um, and prepared. And so this, I was looking to see what the modeling clay was, and it's actually this box right here. Um, if you read it carefully, it says modeling clay dough. So um, I thought, wow, okay, um, I did not see that when I first picked it up. But it says that it you can make your own waffles and pancakes. Now, of course, you can't eat these, so I wouldn't recommend eating these at all. Um, but you can make your own. So I'm going to show you guys how that might look. At first, I wasn't going to use it but I might as well just to kind of see what this is all about. So that's going to be fun. So this is very interactive and I like the fact that they included the modeling clay. And for uh, all you young people, it says five plus. So that means if you're five years old and older, you should know how to interact with modeling clay of some sort without putting it in your mouth. Um, so again, it's not recommended that you eat this clay or any of the other faux food and product. So before we do the modeling clay, um, I'm going to show you guys what the strawberry muffins look like. And these are already done for you. And I don't believe that this is modeling clay. I believe that this is like rubber or plastic. So um, that's already done. And so I think in Samantha's story, she could even uh, love strawberry muffins. I'm not really sure. I think blueberry muffins are her favorite. But you could even show Samantha um, and her friends helping in the kitchen with Mrs. Hawkins. But because this is a My Life set, uh, we're going to pretend that my dolly uh, made these muffins with the help of some of her friends here. So again, I swapped out the strawberry muffins for now the blueberry muffins. So again, if you wanted to make it 100% accurate, you could have Samantha standing there with the blueberry muffins. Um, and But you would have to take away some of this other stuff because again, in when you're talking about 1904, um, it would just probably be this realistic muffin tin and the blueberries in the bowl and not this pale pink and any of that stuff. Now I have to look up when um, the Aunt Jemima company came out because, you know, Samantha could be using that for historical accuracy. She could be using a mix and not making it on her own, but uh, I believe that she would be making it using the fresh eggs and the milk and everything else, but hers would be in a glass jar and not in a carton. But anyway, um, that's to kind of give you guys a back, uh, some background knowledge on Samantha's story. And there was even a game a long time ago that American Girl offered where you could um, prepare muffins with the Samantha character. And I remember that because I was young enough uh, where I could play it, you know, play with the games and everything like that when it came to American Girl. All right, so let's go ahead and try the modeling clay and see what happens. So for anyone who's interested, this is how the modeling clay comes when you take it right out of this box. Uh, so again, we're going to open it and see if we can interact with it. Wow, I'm really impressed, guys. It was It's really soft and it's easy to manipulate. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and smush this ball right in here like I did the first two. So this one's probably going to come out the thickest. Um, so that is the modeling clay. Now I'm going to do it for the waffle iron. So as you can see I tore off a bigger piece uh, just to put in the waffle iron. So I'm just going to, if you had a rolling uh, pin. You could even roll it, but I'm going to use my fingers and just kind of mash it in like that. And 
doing this one-handed, so it's a little complicated. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and press that down. And I'm gonna use my, my fingers for that. And we'll see how it comes out. Okay, so I took one out, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's the one where the smiley face is winking at you. So it turned out pretty nice. And so I just brought out the plate, the blue plate, the fork, and the maple syrup. Oh, wow, guys. And I went ahead and opened up the waffle iron, and amazing. It made our little heart waffle. So isn't that cool? And so all you have to do is just now put your faux syrup, your faux maple syrup on it. And again, that's another lesson, like where does maple syrup come from with the leaves and everything. And since the muffins are already done for you, um, you're all set. So it's really fun. Um, I loved interacting with the clay. And um, I so far, I really like this product. I almost want to get a duplicate just because it's so cool. I had no idea. Um, and I really love how they did the directions, too, because um, it's really fun and interactive. I love the graphics. So, um, yeah, I, I love the fact that they have like a vanilla stick. So you could even add other things from... Um, I believe it's the Our Generation baking set where, you know, you could put a little apron on Cameron and I believe that there's some vanilla in one of her baking sets. So you could make this as interactive as you want, but the waffle iron is amazing. And so are the little pancakes uh, that you can make with the modeling clay. So, and the modeling clay is really supple. Like it's very easy to manipulate. So I'm gonna put this in another plastic bag um, or research how to really keep modeling clay because I love the golden color of it, how it mimics real um, dough. So that's the set guys. I hope that you uh, get lots of playtime out of it and I hope that you enjoyed this review. So this is, I've never really given anything 10 stars. But if I could give it 10 stars for excellence, I would. So my life has really impressed me this year. All right, guys. Well, I'll talk to you later. Happy holidays. If you like my video, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see if I can do more uh, little doll reviews um, since the doll days are coming up. And uh, just continue to love your doll collections. All right. Talk to you later.